because wildlife vehicle collisions are a problem everywhere in the world. An Arizona Game and Fish research biologist Jeff Gagnon says a creative solution was needed to minimize elk vehicle collisions on Highway 260. Well, it was a project that was experimental and kind of thinking outside the box. This two-lane section of Highway 260 will someday be upgraded to a four-lane divided highway. But until then, the Arizona Department of Transportation and Game and Fish came together to create a short-term solution. And what they did is something you might expect to see in an urban area. What we did is we put in an animal-activated crosswalk. So the idea was when animals were funneled down the fence, they would come to a certain area that uh, people could see and motorists could react to. Infrared cameras and sensors detect when an animal approaches the highway. Lights and electronic message signs are activated, alerting motorists to slow down so that the elk can safely cross the highway. The crosswalk was installed in 2007, and ADOT spokesman Doug Nitzel says that the crosswalk works. We're really encouraged by what we've seen out here because we know what the numbers are showing when you have an average of 12 collisions a year between a vehicle and elk, well, then uh, you go from that and now the results are we've had one. Even with the success along this section of Highway 260, Ninsel cautions drivers to be alert when traveling anywhere in northern Arizona. The reminder is if you're driving out there, you're driving at night, know that there are a lot of areas where elk are crossing highways and you've got to be cautious, you've got to obey those signs, take it easy and stay alert, especially during those nighttime hours. Reporting east of Payson, Patrick Walker.